IPOB. Biafra. They say here, nothing well when I go do, when I go drop this identity. This identity is for life. A day inside my heart. There is one drama where they just play now. Make when I see how wicked Nigerian politicians are. They are wicked to the core. Today is 21st December 2022. This boy now, who puts on them go and reach this boy? Make he come testify against IPOB. Now in the claim saying be ESN. He not be ESN no. He just the claim. And the way they ask him say who they send them. He say na China Sangoru. Okay, foreign. This, that. You know, before now they cannot have problem. Before they kidnap now they cannot. Now they cannot say Nigerian government don't bring out too much money, billions of naira to to fight IPOB to shake. The, the foundation of IPOB. I didn't know they kind of told us that. They are going to shake the foundation. And after that, Biafra will come. Now they are now the era. Now we will do so now. This guy, where did they interview now? I won't make you calculate how many journalists are here. And how many TV stations are here. Just calculate it by yourself. You see um, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Channel even here. AIT is here. There are so many. You see them? You see them? You see them? And the waiting this guy now. They try tell me the media that uh, China Sagoru told them to say there will not be election. There will not be uh, there will not be um, uh, uh, Christmas. The day Simon I uh, declare it at home. Now they turn it around and say that it's China Samuru. It's okay for him. Nigerian people, when I know here Simon uh, when he declares it at home, and the boys come out on the street, carry gun, say no, no, no election, no December, nobody will come for December. When I know see him last week, today. Channel TV, all the media in Nigeria is here about this arranged, arranged deal. Because this boy is not even a, a member of ESL. Now, let me shock you. So, we have, Nigerian people have this kind of media. Come to them. One, one, two, three, four, five, about eight journalists and the TV station are here. But let me shock you. I want to shock you. I want to shock you people. Just watch and see. This is Nigerian military. In Enugu state. Mix up with the Fulani boys. These are Nigerian military. Look, let me zoom it. So that you, some of you will understand the game that is going on. Look at it. Special force. Nigerian military. Look at them. Look at them. This is a Fulani boy. These are the people killing Igbo people in the Yamufu Enugu state. Abo and the Agamede precisely. Last week, last two weeks, killing are still going on. Did you see any Nigerian journalist there? Did you see any journalist? Do you see any journalists? I want to ask you people. These are the people they kill. 
The Fulani terrorists and the Nigerian military, joint military, joint force. These are the people they kill in the Enugu state. Did you see it in the television? Did you see it just last week? Oh, did you see it? Here we go. Look them, the dead body in Enugu state, Yamufu. As I'm talking now, Nigerian military and the joint Buku Aram, repentant Buku Aram, who they later recruit into Nigerian army. They are in a Yamufu now, slaughtering people as I'm talking. I swear with my life. I swear, Makachine cannot be in the I said, we are talking now. Shooting are going on. They are slaughtering Igbo people there. Look at their dead body. No Nigerian media has ever carried such news. But look at, they went, they went and arranged this boy to claim that he is a ESN member. He to claim that he's the ESM member. Look at all the media. So that they are going to use this thing and fighting Nande Kano because the world are disturbing them to release him Nande Kano. So they are cooking up all manner of false information. They are cooking up all manner of, of false information. That is the reason why they told Simon Eba to declare it at home. And the way this Simon Eba declares it at home, everybody saw it. IPOB came out openly, said that we are not in support of Simon Ota is not one of us. China Samuel made it very clear. Everybody in the IPOB made it very clear that Simon Ota is not with us. Simon Ota went and he declared sit at home, five days sit at home. And on the process of that five days sit at home, you saw those boys with a gun and the Nigeria, they are with a gun, AK 47, chanting on the street. No election, no um, no Christmas. You see, today now Nigerian government to turn it around, turn it and they lay the allegation to China Sangoru and OK foreign IPOB leadership. This is what they are doing. Do you see the wickedness in these people? But they are but the Nigerian military joint force with Buku Aram, Fulani has men. They're all in Enugu State massacring. About people, as I'm talking, hmm, my chine can nano ne niwe. Chine can nano ne niwe, as I'm talking now. Today is 21st of December 2022. About people and the Agamede in the Yamufu Enugu state. Fulani are killing them as I'm talking. No Nigerian media there. One Nigeria. So why? Why all this game? Why all this game? Tell these people to get out. Now, Biafra. You see me? Me and Biafra. Because I know, say, you people are not ready to change. Now, they kind of already told us that tonight they are going to shake the structure of IPOB. Do you know the, 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 do you know the structure of IPOB? Do you know what make IPOB strong? ESN. Uh, uh, finance. Um, um, Radio Biafra. And the DOS. China Sangweru is a member of DOS. That is the reason why they are attacking these four structures. DOS, Finance, ESN, and the Radio Biafra. At the beginning, immediately they kidnapped Nande Kano. They started making noise. And Nande Kano said they should give uh, Simon a Radio Biafra. Let them give him Radio Biafra so that it will kill the struggle. They didn't succeed. They start attacking the, the, the finance of IPOB. Even today, they still attacking the finance. They are still attacking it seriously. The lady we have in, uh, in, 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 in Germany there is one of them. Together with the, together with the, um, uh, uh, the Kano brother, Kanonta. They all together. All the money they have in our country, they empty the money. They empty the whole thing. Do you think when ESN was ESN? Do you think the Fulani people can come to Yamufu and massacre people this way? Do you think like that? Look at the dead body of the Igbo people. No, no social, no, no, no Nigerian television there. No journalist there. Did you hear about this news? But only one person they go arrange. Now they are making noise. Look at Ibo. Now Ibo boy be this. Where they carry for way by them. All the dead body, old women, old men, children. Now they are dead body. Now you lie down there. 
See them. This one don't be. See, see this, see them. See dead body. See them. See the people who kill them. Nigerian military. Buku Aram. See them. You know they see them. See this one. See this one. See them at the back. Are you know, you know they see Nigerian military uniform. See them. Now camera and I capture them. See them. See their uniform. You see them. Make a zoom. Make one see them. Special force. Now them did that Buku Aram. So tomorrow they go tell you, say, full and too strong. They're too strong. Then they use you. They conquer your own people. You see them? So anybody where they call about to China Sangweru, China Sangweru is a member of DOS. He's a member of DOS. That is why they're attacking, that is attacking, attacking DOS. They want to destroy everything. But they no go fit. We shall see how the game will play. See, see, all these massacres where they kill, now who they kill them? The one where they kill for a bonus, a Enugu state today, now in a Yamufu, is it China Sangweru? The one they are killing in the Benue, is it China Sangweru? The one they kill, they, they are killing in a, in a Southern Kaduna, where they are killing Christians, is it China Sangweru? Their target is to destroy Christians in Nigeria. That is their target. To Islamize. Now Buhari people will be this, terrorists. They are all terrorists, Buhari. Buhari and his people are terrorists, terrorizing people here and there. They don't even want anybody to live in that country. They want to conquer everywhere. You cannot conquer. It's a lie. Soldier goes, soldier come. When I go try, when I go think, say when I go succeed, na lie. Go ask your grand dead father. They will tell you how much they try and how much they fail. As you try, more you fail. It's a lie. Let everybody wake up. Kunye no no la. All these politicians in there now, you know, they don't know if they can't put it The whole social media, the whole television station in Nigeria, they have an interview. As they say, they don't know if they can't put it on. They don't know if they can't put but when you go to the United States, when you go to the United States, when you go to the United States, you go to the news. More than 50 people in a day. And they are still dying as I'm talking. They are moving. When you go to the United States, you go to the United States.